John Fong, Hawaiian Turf Grass, and we're here today at Moanalua High School football field. Check it out. Uh, we came here about a month, month and a half ago, and we did some aerating, um, soil cultivator, and the Air 2G2. Um, we really wanted to see if that would work because this field has, has the biggest band um, program in the state, marching band, and it's a public school. They're well known for their band, and a few seasons ago, they just tore it all up. So let's take a look. You can semi see the lines from the soil cultivator, but look at the the field. is it, it, In generally, it, it's in great shape. Um, a few seasons ago, like I mentioned, this was all torn up as we walk towards the band field. Again, you can see the lines, the deep uh, blades that, you know, punctured the soil. Um, what that did was it broke apart the hard pan and helped promote drainage, helped promote oxygen, helped promote roots. And then the Air 2G2, as you can see, this is a marching band. They, they march right on the lines, so you can see some little wear. This is a Tiff Grand Bermuda uh, field. But definitely the Air 2 G2 um, fracturing the soil profile and promoting air through all those pockets, reducing and minimizing compaction has definitely helped. As you can see, these marching band lines are still in shape. This is where you know the the majority of the damage would have occurred. So what I'm seeing is minimal damage, but definitely the Air 2G2 made a big difference in helping relieve compaction. Um, again, you know, we have a video posted of the Air 2G2 in action um, a few posts back. So you go check that out if you have, or you want to see that in action. But I just wanted to come and check out this field, see how it is doing. And it's doing really great. Um, again, they have the biggest marching band. Right now it's football season. Um, Tiff Grand Bermuda. What I see is excellent because we really, this was the test. If, if the field could withhold the marching band for the season during the football season, then we know we're onto something with the Air 2G2 and the deep time uh, relief compaction. Um, so um, it's very, um, exciting to see that it is working uh, the field can probably use a little fertilizer to green it up but in in most parts it's doing very well again we're here at Wanalua High School football field there's their locker room so you know we're fighting we live here in Hawaii we should have natural grass fields at all our school Department of Education facilities. We're really battling, you know, the trendiness of having artificial, um, artificial football field because of all the pros. But in fact, that um, you know, it's actually trending back the other way, where the professional football fields or an athletes they don't want to play on artificial fields because it's causing injury. They want the natural grass. So if we can do and keep up the maintenance and the cultural practices of uh, you know soil cultivating and uh, deep kind aerating air 2 g2 basically aerating vertical cutting and proper mowing fertilizer then we should have no reason why we shouldn't have a natural field here in Hawaii so it's very exciting to see that um, you know this field is doing better um, with the more cultural practices that they do. And it, it is possible for a natural field to exist in Hawaii. Again, we have full sun year round, 12 year, months out of the year. So as long as there's full sun, there really shouldn't be any need for artificial turf because it just boils down to mowing and that's simple. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if you have any uh, comments or input, uh, we'd love to hear it. Again, my name is Sean Fong, Hawaiian Turf Grass. Have a great day.
Hawaiian. 